Hello friends, today we are going to read Naughty Dog. The author is Kanchan Banerjee, the illustrator is Deepa Balsavar and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Naughty Dog. So who do you think is the naughty dog? It must be this dog in this picture. And it sounds like he has been naughty. Let's read more about this dog. We are a family of four. I follow Chinku everywhere. So in this picture, here is the dog. And who is this? This sounds like is Chinku. This little boy must be this dog's master. This dog is Chinku's pet and here is the family that they are in. This must be Chinku's mother and father and this is Chinku and this is the dog. And the dog follows Chinku everywhere. I have to look after Chinku. You see, I am older than him. So here again in this picture, you see Chinku and the dog and they are walking in the park and the dog is following Chinku and looking after him. The dog is older than Chinku, so he has to look after him. Sometimes Chinku is careless. It is my duty to guard the house. Here in this picture, you see that Chinku has left the door open and here is this cat coming in through the open door and here is the dog. He is barking at the cat. So the dog is thinking he is guarding Chinku. We do everything together. We work together. In this picture, here is Chinku and his dog. And I don't know if they are working, but Chinku is reading this book and the dog is sitting there. We play together. And here is Chinku again. He is playing cricket at the park and the dog is with him. We even share Ma's scolding. And here what has happened? Chinku and the dog have created a mess and Chinku's mother has to clean up after them. And so she is scolding Chinku and the dog is also there facing the scolding. When Chinku is at school, I help Ma. I keep the crows away from the papads. And in this picture, you can see that Chinku's mother is making papad and she is drying them in the sun and the crows are coming to eat them and the dog is barking at them, keeping them away. Today, Chinku will be my teacher. At last, I will learn something new. Here in this picture, you can see that Chinku is throwing these sweets, I think, at the dog and the dog is catching them with his mouth. So he is learning new tricks. I am a good doggy. I do not scare away cats. Here you can see Chinku's friend has come to visit Chinku and he has brought his cats and the dog is a good doggy. He does not bark at cats and chase them away. Are you Chinku's friend? 
then you are my friend too. In this picture, you can see this girl has come to visit Chinko. She is his friend and the dog is climbing on her, licking her, playing with her. He is having fun with Chinku's friend. Now let's see a little bit more about the different types of activities that Chinku and the dog did during their day. Read the following action sentences. Which of these activities do you like to do? I like dancing. I like swimming. I like skipping. I like drawing. So here are some pictures of the different kinds of things that people do. Dancing, swimming, skipping and drawing. Which of these do you like to do? I like cycling. I like climbing. Sometimes we say as faithful as a dog. This is because a dog always stays close to its master. If it goes far away or is lost, a dog always finds its way back home. So what do we say about dogs? Dogs are faithful. It means the dog is very true to its master, loyal to its master and stays close. And if the dog gets lost or goes far away, the dog always finds its way back home. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are faithful, loyal, able to be depended upon. Try these questions. Do the activity in the end of the story and write about what you like to do and what you don't like to do. Write about a day in your life. What does it look like?